Hey, it's Sylvie. Hello. Hi, Louis. How are you? I'm great. Look at this. I have this foam pad and then this drill. Okay. And then it's what fun. I'm doing is attaching the foam pad to the drill so I can rotate it. Okay. So the idea is I want to look at moments of inertia of this foam pad. The thing is the moment of inertia depends both on the mass of the foam pad and also on the location of the axis of rotation. Yeah. So and now you're going to the center of mass. That's right. And the center of mass is typically um, the location for the axis of rotation that has the lowest moment of inertia. So if I rotate it, it should be pretty easy. All right. As you can see. Can you go faster? Yeah, pretty easy. I see. OK. So now what we can do is to try to change the moment of inertia by changing the axis of rotation. Yeah, and this is one thing that's always weird. For, for, for this. So the mass has not changed. No. But we're changing the moment of inertia. Oh, no, no. You are changing the moment of inertia by simply rotating the object around a different axis. Yes. So this is an axis, new axis of rotation, still parallel to this one, farther away from the center of mass. So I guess this should be, this is going to be bigger moment of inertia. And so harder to rotate. You want to try? I think even harder. All right, let's see. Oh, oh. Yeah, I agree. It is harder to rotate. Cool. Physics is cool. Nice drill, by the way.